I believe uh, that um, there will be more cases like New Zealand where people will recognize that this is not an issue. Because at climate change, a lot of people think, including my policy friends, we think in terms of IPCC projections and what's it going to be like in 2100 versus A, B, C, D scenario, which is great that we have that data. But ocean acidification, as Alan likes to say, 2100 got here 10 years ago. Don't talk to my oysters about 2100 projections. They don't need to hear it. They're already dead. So uh, it's I, I the effectiveness of that message has me utterly convinced that we can work on a global scale and get more people to add eloquent, passionate voices to the chorus calling for CO2 emissions. I really believe that. And we're all humans, and I think if we did the same thing in China that we did in New Zealand, that people would listen. I don't have to space it. Really, that you have this. We all respond. Granted, there are cultural differences, but you know, fundamentally, we all respond to the same issues and needs. Uh, so I, I, I believe that's why I do what I do. Uh, so I think, in the meanwhile, yes, there are going to be some more Pacific Northwest oyster crises. We're starting to see things change. For example, in the Northeast Atlantic, the, the U.S. Northeast. So yes, yeah, a few more things are going to crash, but uh, eventually, I think we will slow that. You know, this whatever metaphor you want to use, uh, freight train, and it will uh, inflict less damage than it otherwise would if we were doing nothing. So I realize I'm not giving you black and white answers, but there aren't black and white answers. Mm -hmm. At least I can't provide them. Because uh, nature is messy, ecology is messy, it's just the nature of the beast.